was a time of innocence. The internet was still in its infancy. The defense industry had no idea what they'd unleashed upon the world. It was like an over-enthusiastic fetus about to rip itself free from DARPA's comfy womb. Even by 1990, the pre-internet had its trolls before the term was coined. Bulletin boards and pair-to-pair -pair networks, as the wide world web was known back then, demanded a higher standard of trolls. Nerds, as we called them, had to earn their title. The World Wide Web back then was a cumbersome beast. There were no graphics. Everything was represented by columns of text, which had to be manipulated with a primitive keyboard. And even if the nerd of the day could afford a good enough computer to display a pitiful representation of a photo, it would take up to a month to download. Adobe Photoshop had revolutionized the graphic design studio. One no longer had to spend thousands for photo manipulation software. Adobe had priced the new Photoshop at a generous $800, or around $5,000 in today's money. The naive public had no concept of the kind of fakery that has been exposed these days. Although it had been filmed over 20 years earlier, a trip to the moon still required an expensive studio with its own Stanley Kubrick and possibly thousands of dollars worth of foil, duct tape and curtain rails. But nonetheless, the moon landing was still old hat. For most, the moon landing had been in their father's day. People were getting bored with NASA and bored with outer space in general. The CGI just wasn't good enough for the kind of space propaganda science fiction films of today. Star Wars hadn't even been revamped, let alone rebooted. And the ISS hoax was still on the drawing board. The planet paintings of yesteryear which we all know from our textbooks, were beginning to look outdated. Even your average Joe astronomer was starting to see through the transparent images in their telescopes. In order to sustain the siphoning of shekels from the unsuspecting taxpayer, NASA needed a new gimmick. Something to wow the people again. Something to divert attention from the unobtainable goals within our own solar system. The naughty, naturalized Nazis of NASA needed something beyond the ordinary man. Beyond humanity for eternity. Something abstract that people wouldn't be able to test for themselves. Something for professional and amateur astronomers and cosmologists to chew on until they came up with their next hoax. Something a lot like Hubble, the magical Masonic flying space telescope and camera.